if we had the floor in the upper level and suppose that a moment of 10 kN meter was at this junction between two floors. In that case, in this ideal condition of our modeling, because uh, this is just a mathematical modeling of a real structure, right? In this mathematical uh, conditions, all the situations are ideal. Our structure is ideal, our members are ideal, the sections are ideal. In that case, whatever the moment is produced at any junction or any point, the same moment is transferred to the next point or the next member. We know that the load gets transferred from the slab after that it goes to the beam after that it goes to the column and finally from the column it goes to the footing in ideal condition there won't be any movement distribution which means that uh, the same movement that is produced on the top floor will get transferred to the footing level but but in real life it doesn't happen because our structure is not as perfect as we model in a uh, software Due to this reason, what we have to do is that we have to release some movement, which means that certain movement or amount of the movement will get redistributed or will disappear or will get released. This is the concept of release, uh, movement release and that movement release we define by using the specification tab that we just saw earlier. Let us see how we do that.